is the U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. What is your favorite muscle car? Let us know in the comments. Oh my God. Hi, my name is David. This is my 1986 Camaro IROC. I did a full restoration on this in uh, 2012. Uh, it's was rotisseried and rebuilt um, and what color was the uh, car before before you did the uh... oh yeah be before I did the work it was uh, in the best shape and uh, I did the paint job on it did the body work on it it took me about two years to do uh, I did redid the upholstery redid the interior on here uh, Put a stage three, three to three stroker. Redid the gauges, had those all restored. That's nice, that's nice. And the only thing original on this car would probably be the back seat. Um, okay. Yeah, and. Oh, cool. The, uh, and so the. Whoever, whoever put the black on it, it's got a good black. Yes, uh, the block came from the Summit block, okay. a stage three, three to three stroker. It's got 500 horsepower. Uh, the rear end is a uh, is from from a 94 Trans Am. It's got a 411 gear in the back. Okay. And if you want to look, you can look underneath. In the, hey, well, in a minute, in the, that translates into what a um, faster, higher block. It's got a higher RPM. Uh -huh. Not the best for the interstate, but with the overdrive, it works out pretty good. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and... Uh, so let's take a look at this uh, instrument panel again. Okay, yeah, so I did the gauges. I had those I had those to California, and they set them all back to zero when they know you're doing a restoration. Right, right, neat. So after restoration, cars only got 5,222 miles on it. Cool, cool. Um, wow, cool. Even the, uh, even the VIN number is actually mint condition on here. Everything's brand new. <laughs> oh, really? Really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. And then uh, what kind of uh, rims and what kind of tires do you have? The rims are American Racing uh -huh. uh, Torque Thrust M. Okay. And then the tires are Mickey Thompson Street Comps. Right. I put a biggest, the bigger meat in the back and then a smaller profile on the front. You can tell the difference, right? Yeah, you, yeah, you can. Yeah, for, for, for traction, it makes a good difference on cool. that. Cool. And what kind of uh, brakes do you have? Uh, the fronts are Wellwood brakes, uh -huh. and in the back are the Trans Am uh, disc brakes in the back. Okay. So. Okay, cool. And then the, uh, the classic movers here? Uh, these are functional heat extractors, because uh -huh. from the IROC they had them, the fake ones. I I drilled, cut them out and put the real ones in. Right, 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 right. Neat, yeah. neat, neat, neat. And then uh, let's see the front end. So yeah, the front end. Yeah, that's, that's I put look. the uh, billet aluminum grill on there, and then yeah, that looks good. a little aftermarket right. front runners. I had them smoked. And, uh, do you have any buddies here? Uh, yeah, we're actually at a car club. Uh -huh. um, that's a member. Me, all up in the front row. There, there's members everywhere around here. There's some over too. Um, I think. I'm gonna say I probably get this messed up, but I'm gonna say 60, maybe 70, mm -hmm. give or take. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, let's take a look uh, under the hood. Okay. So there's under the hood, stage three, 3D3. I got the MSD box, the coil. Uh, it's got a 670 or uh, 700 Holly carburetor mm -hmm. on here and it gets up and goes cool. so talk about the different stages the uh, so stage three does a stage three has the aluminum heads uh -huh. forged pistons forged crank okay and uh, for compared to a my first engine was a was a, just a regular 3d3 and I ended up breaking the crankshaft on here oh, so this one's a little bit more bulletproof than the other one oh, there you go. Cool. Cool. how much torque uh, torque, I'm not sure I haven't dynoed the car yet, so uh, torque I don't know right, on. Right. And then when you, uh, when you it, are the other people who are next to you, you know, in another car, are they trying to catch up? Um, you know what, I really haven't tried that out, okay. but I get a lot of people trying to get them next to me and we go, and right, right. most of the time I'm blowing their doors off, but... This is just kind of a show car. This is something I just show around. Sure, sure. What about uh, exhaust? 
Um, the exhaust is actually cut off. It's just the uh, um, Holly headers, and I had to cut my exhaust is cut off right down here really? by the transmission. Really? Wow. Wow. Yeah. Can we hear how that that sounds? Uh, yeah, we we can. And then rev it once or twice. Okay, so I would like to thank my mom for letting me use her garage when I was a teenager and doing this build. God rest her soul, passed away in 2017. I want to give a shout out to my club right here, Citywide Classics, for accepting me in their club. And, um, and uh, thank you for watching. Our favorite YouTube channel is U.S. Classic Muscles Car. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> 